This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Well, for God's sake, just ask them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one 20 odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. You brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears, too? Yes, but I thought I was the only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen in all. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows. Especially, as there is only one authentic one, of course. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His Eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. Monsieur Johann von Wulner. A drachma. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces Is everything that he will be betrayed right, my young by friend? one of his disciples. Mr. President, you might be able to help me. I'd like to know where that sword comes from. Any idea? Hmm. It reminds me of the statues in the garden. I can't guarantee it, but you ought to go and see. You never know, do you? Thank you, Mr. President. You're quite welcome. See you soon.
lock is surrounded by a triple circle. All right, I've retrieved everything. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. Could you tell me where this sword comes from, please? Certainly, sir. How did such a sword come into sir's hands? Listen, my good man, I'd gladly stand here discussing matters all day long, but I'm terribly pressed for time. Your petty logistical concerns are of no interest to me. I asked you a question, and I'm still waiting for an answer. Do please excuse me, sir. If I were, sir, I would look in the garden. This sword looks like it's from the garden statues. And how can I get into the garden? There are two ways, sir. The first way to get to the garden is by the hall, between the conference room and the portrait gallery. The second way is directly through the portrait gallery. So I would just have to go out by the French windows. Thank you, my good man. The Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. The sword probably came from his garden, but what could it have been used for? Well, Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? I'm still looking for my mother, of course. You're right, Monsieur. Keep looking. Good luck to you. Ariadne. 
In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. What is that? It's like a sort of opening mechanism. but it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Hmm. It looks like this slab moves. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath it. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. Here's the famous Ariana's thread, thanks to which, if I remember rightly, Theseus avoided getting lost in the labyrinth. Ariadne. Let's see. A crack as long as my finger. to happen if, if I've got it wrong. Ariadne. Try something else. Ariadne. I guide the sword that would kill the monster. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage if he defeated the monster. 
She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. Theseus, son of Aegeus, he's the one who slayed the Minotaur. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Wrongly positioned, I am the blind hero. Hmm. I wasn't expecting an inscription like that. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Minos, son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. His gesture sealed his fate. In mythology, King Minos was known as a wise and just king, despite the fact that he deceived Poseidon. As punishment, his country was devastated by the white bull of the sea god, and his wife became passionately in love with it. From their union, Asterion was born, sadly known to us as the Minotaur. The illegitimate child, the child of shame, who had a sorry fate. And to think that Minos ended up as a judge of the underworld, decidedly, the high and mighty always manage to get away with it. The crack is in the region of the heart. It's a thin crack as long as a finger. A blade could easily enter. Son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. <laughs> Pity. Hey, there's no crack here. Well, let's keep going. Pasiphae, daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe, 
She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. I seem to recall that her fate was not something you'd want. She was punished for the sins of her husband. She had to mate with the sacred bull of Poseidon. Nine months later, she gave birth to Asterion, better known as the Minotaur. <laughs> it's crazy to see to what extent women have always been mistreated. When they're not harpies, gorgons, and other witches, they become victims. She has no cracks. For once, justice is done. She won't pay for the errors of the others. Icarus didn't have any cracks either. Maybe the innocent are protected here. Let's hope it brings me good luck. All right, well, let's continue anyways. Daedalus. He's the architect of the labyrinth, and if I'm not mistaken, he's also the father of Icarus. Hey, there's a crack in this statue too. I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur, the famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. Asterion was the son of Pasiphae and Minos, or rather the result of a curse put on Minos. Minos was punished for betraying Poseidon. Of course, as strangely it often happens, it wasn't he who was punished, it was his wife. She had to mate with a bull, no less. From that union, Asterion was born, who everyone knows as the famous Minotaur. Rejected by Minos, he was shut up in the labyrinth so he could never leave. And, as if that wasn't bad enough, he died by the hand of a hero desperate to restore his reputation. Technically, Asterion is the victim of the story because he's described as a child cast out from Earth. Born from an extramarital union because of the errors of his father, he was treated as an outcast all his life. And he died as innocently as he was born. A tragic story, as the Greeks knew how to do so well. Let's go.
again? <laughs> I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! What was that? That's the third time in three days. <gasps> Let's see if you're you're in there, mother. Hmm, someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Hmm, there are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Don't move! Wait, I'm not armed. Who are you? Good God, Mother, what have Tell you- Tell me who you are! 